Well, hello and welcome to Bangkok International Airport here in Thailand. And today I'm taking a flight on the national airline of Indonesia, Garuda Indonesia. So um, this is going to be a fun day. Come along with me. Let's go for a bit of a ride. Before we go anywhere though, can I just say there's an airline down there that I have wanted to fly on for ages and I thought that they'd actually stopped operations and they haven't. Myanmar Airways International flying to Mandalay. That sounds really cool, doesn't it? Uh, from here in Bangkok. That's definitely one to go on the list at some point. But um, anyway, enough swooning over exotic airliners. Let's go and find a lounge and get something to eat. Hello. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. So Garuda um, actually use the Air France lounge here at Bangkok, um, being part of the Sky Team Alliance. It's, Alliance. it's quite a nice lounge, pretty quiet, not many people about. A decent selection of food though. Of course, lots of um, Asian inspired uh, cuisine, pad thai noodles and um, a couple of sausages. Because I do love a good sausage, as you know. Good sausage. All right then, time to head to the gate and get on board Garuda. Been looking forward to these for quite some time actually. Garuda's one of those airlines that um, I've been kind of wanting to fly but never had an opportunity. They used to do like a really cool route in Europe between London and Amsterdam. But we're doing it today, which is all good. So let's go and find our gate where we need to be today to get across to Jakarta. So apparently it's a 20 minute walk to the gate from the lounge here, which I may have underestimated slightly. 20 minutes, 20 minutes to the gate. This is a big old airport, right? I figure out how we get there now. It. and there she is the beautiful Garuda Indonesia A330 what a cool plane that is let's head downstairs all right so there she is the Garuda Indonesia A330 308 years old this one and delivered in 2014 so um, not too old actually but it um, looks beautiful I just love seeing that plane there it's so um, such a nice livery even though it's quite simple quite like the whole kind of blue and green thing they've got going on it's pretty cool so um, let's go and get on board before we get on board the A330 um, isn't that a sad sight over there the old um, Thai Airways planes all parked up still still three years on they're all kind of parked up in a line, 747s, A380s, all sorts, all sort of looking really beaten up and under the weather now. Very sad, really. <coughs> nice if they got a new lease of life with somebody, wouldn't it? Um, but I'm um, not holding my hopes, well, they've been sat there for a long time now, three, over three years now they've been sat there. Um, yeah, it's a bit sad, isn't it? Speaking of absolute beauties as well, Eva Air, 787, I love their livery. Just taxiing out. Absolutely gorgeous playing that, the old Eva Air livery with the green and the white, isn't that nice? Um, stay tuned um, if you want to see me flying on them because I might be flying on Eva Air very, very soon. Um, incredibly soon, actually. So um, hit subscribe if you want to see that video. Hello. How are you? All right, thank you. Here we are then, finally time to get on board the Garuda Indonesia Airbus A330 that's going to take me today all the way down to Jakarta in Indonesia. Well that was a nice welcome and once we get on board we find this business class cabin in a 222 configuration. Wonderful, thank you. Thanks very much. All right then, welcome on board the Garuda Indonesia A330 in business class. This is um, interesting. It's a little, little, little dated. Um, as you can see from the beautiful 
restaurant themed decor that we've got. But hey, see, it's not bad. The cabin crew seem absolutely lovely so far. Um, we've got quite a lot of leg room here. TV, which I don't know, does it work? Oh, yes, it does work. We'll go through that a little bit later on. Um, controls here for the seat. It's almost a flat bed. It might actually be a flat bed, actually. So, um, yeah, it's going to be a good flight, I think. About three hours down to, down to Jakarta. Now, I'm already seeing a bit of an issue here. Um, I, I've lost a lot of weight. I've lost about two stone <laughs> in the last few months. I've had no issue on any airline whatsoever, like ever. But look at my seatbelt. I breathe it, Nolly. <laughs> It's like a street jacket. God. Yeah, he's a little snug. That's interesting. That's interesting. Even on like Cebu and Lion Air and all the other airlines I've flown this far of the world, um, I never had an issue. But never mind. It's only for takeoff and landing, surely. <laughs> Pretty soon we were pushing back from the gate to begin our taxi out to the runway here at Bangkok, which was pretty cool. We got to see some really cool aeroplanes taking off on the way out to the runway, including this China Central Airlines 737 taking off. That's pretty cool. And this KLM Dreamliner that was taxiing out behind us. route today then took us south out of Bangkok, across Malaysia and Singapore and into Indonesia. Flight time today, 3 hours and 19 minutes, cruising at 41,000 feet. Um, one thing that's actually taken my attention actually since we've been on this flight, there's a massive great sign at the beginning of the cabin that says these are a Skytrax 5 star airline, which puts them the same quality as Qatar Airways. And it makes them better than Emirates, who are only a four-star airline. Is that the case? I mean, first impressions and all that, mm, not yet, they're not. <laughs> um, this is an airline that was banned in the EU until like a couple of years ago. So um, yeah, that's, that's pretty interesting. We'll, we'll figure out if the service is any good or not anyway. Um, Maybe they are, maybe they are as good as Qatar Airways and all Nippon Airlines and all these other five-star airlines, but I'm not getting that impression so far. We'll find out. Anyway, about three and a half hours to run down to Jakarta. All right, then, it is dinner time and the start has arrived and I'll tell you what, on looks alone, this is amazing. Look at this. Just a fruit course to start, then I've gone for chicken for the main course as well, so we'll see what it tastes like, but it certainly presented nicely anyway, so um, yeah, let's give it a go. Alright, main course has turned up. Doesn't that look amazing? Looks delicious, let's give it a go. Really, really nice. Really good. Thumbs up, Garuda. Nice food. It's time for the Noel Phillips Blue Review. Alright then, time for the Lou review on the Garuda Indonesia A330. Um, and I've come to the middle ones because they're sort of close to where I'm sitting. Um, quite nice. There's a Lou. Relatively decent. I think you've got some hand lotion and eau de toilette, toilet water and um, yeah it's um, not not too shabby oh quite a nice little double mirror there's a little Noli and there's Big Noel little Noel, Big Noel you like that, 
That's pretty cool, isn't it? And then these like little lights around the mirror, very, very nice. And um, I have to say so far, the aircraft is a little bit battered, a little bit tired, but everything else about Karuda Indonesia so far has been amazing. The cabin crew are just fantastic. And when I say fantastic, there is a genuine like care for the customer I feel which is nice you don't often see that a lot of the time there's a bit of a oh yeah I put a fake smile on and that's it but Garudi you, you can tell that they genuinely genuinely want to help you it's it's so so nice to see it's such a refreshing change I love it when you fly on an airline and you don't expect them to be that great and they end up being fantastic I've said this before um, not many airlines manage that you know they, you see a lot of airlines that have a crappy reputation and a lot of the time they deserve it, but Garuda, I have to be honest, they're pretty good. Um, I've just actually noticed, why have we got a no phones in the bathroom policy? Does that mean that no loo reviews are allowed either? Oh, don't know, well I better get on with me um, business then and get back to my seat. So um, yeah, that's the loo on the Garuda Indonesia A330. That was the Noel Phillips Loo Review. Shall we have a little look at the in-flight entertainment on the Garuda A330? Let's see what we got. Um, so we've got the remote control bit here, it sort of pops out the side. Got Matrix Resurrection, King Richard, Lego Batman, yay. And some relatively modern movies there, not many, but there's a few. Let's have a look at TV shows. Let's see if we've got Young Sheldon or Big Bang Theory. Let's have a look. Right, the remote appears to have gone for a bit and it doesn't seem to work. Um, here we go. There's quite a few TV shows there. Bloody hell, it's Piss Man. Piss Man? What's that? That's something to do with Air India or something. <laughs> it legitimately is called Piss Man. Wow, okay. <laughs> Thing is, we don't pass the Young Sheldon or Big Bang Theory test because it hasn't got either of them. Okay, let's just take the flight map on. Decent flight map. It's pretty good. I've been watching it all the flight anyway. So, um, yeah, there we go. So yeah, that's the in-flight entertainment on um, Garuda. It's um, it's okay. I'm gonna sit down and watch this, and I might even watch some Piss Man. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you to this week's video sponsor, Surfshark, who always come to the rescue whenever I want to watch some British TV when I'm travelling. Surfshark is a VPN provider and what that means quite simply is that you can use their software to connect to the internet from anywhere in the world and make it look like you're just at home, which has some really good benefits. For instance, I could be sitting here by a sunny pool in Vietnam and um, watching some Top Gear on my phone. It lets me watch EastEnders here in the middle of the Australian outback. Oh yeah, I'll have a Castle Mine 4X please mate. Cheers. Surfshark even lets me catch up with only fools and horses well, I'm here in New York. Now, Surfshark are offering you a massive 83% discount plus three months free when you use my promo code Noel Phillips at the link on the screen now. What are you waiting for? Even Baby Shark approves. As the sun started to set, it was time to begin our descent down into Jakarta, Indonesia. And by golly, was it a beautiful approach and landing with the sun just setting over on the horizon. As we touched down on the runway in Jakarta, I was finally grateful for having that really tight seatbelt. So here we are then back in Indonesia and why not check out my newly relaunched merch store with brand new t-shirts including the all new Lou Review t-shirt now with lower prices and reduced shipping over at noelphillips.com. Also consider giving me a follow over on my other socials for live updates throughout my trips as well as regular live Q&As on TikTok and Instagram. 
so I think so. Okay, got this, got this. Got my passport, that's good. Right. Make a nice change, I haven't left anything okay. behind. <laughs> Thank you, bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. That was amazing. Have Thank you so much. much. Have a great Have day. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right. Welcome to Indonesia. Back in Jakarta. I do like it here. Right. See how long it takes us to get in the country this time. Last time it was a nightmare over in Bali. Let's see if it's any easier now. We'll find out. Compared to my last immigration experience in Indonesia over in Bali, immigration today was really, really smooth. I just went through, bought my visa on arrival, and within about 10 minutes, I was out collecting my bags and going through customs. It was actually really straightforward and it actually surprised me. Thank you. Once I'd gone through customs, the hotel had sent a car for me, which was really nice. So I headed through to get my car and get a ride over to the hotel in Jakarta. If you ever have to stay near the airport in Jakarta, I highly recommend the Swiss hotel. It's about a 10 minute taxi ride and they sort it all out for you. It really is nice. Thank you very much. I got it, thank you. All right, then welcome back to the Swiss Hotel in Jakarta, Indonesia. I love this place, same place I stayed last time. It's so like handy for the airport. They send a car to pick you up right from the airport and it costs you like $4 or so for a car all the way from the airport. So here they just chuck it on your room. It's so easy. Um, and it's a nice hotel, but the coolest thing about this hotel, watch, watch, watch in the bathroom. Look, look, look. Right, so you can see through there. And I press this switch here. Watch. What? Switch. <laughs> Isn't that cool? You could, I don't know, I, the small things for small minds, hey. Um, but yes, that was Garuda, Indonesia, the five-star airline that they are. Um, I'm not entirely sure that they are a five-star airline quality. I mean, they were good. They were, they were pretty good, but... <laughs> better than Emirates really um, no um, but the one thing I can say about them is as much as the aircraft was old and battered and as much as the in-flight entertainment weren't brilliant the crew and the service was flipping phenomenal the meals were amazing the crew were absolutely just incredible really really nice um, if only they could just get some like nicer planes and stuff that might be nice hey um, then maybe they could be a, a four star airline I don't know I don't know well I don't know what Skytrax is all about with this thing um, you know they're, they're not better than Emirates clearly um, it's, I, I, I don't know how they come up with those ratings but um, never mind um, but that's that That was them that was Garuda so um, let me know what you thought to them down in the comments and would you fly on Garuda or would you prefer to go for the lower quality Emirates over Garuda Indonesia um, let me know down in, in, in the comments but um, in the meantime well, I'm off to get some rest now and I've got a day off tomorrow so I'm looking forward to that and I'm looking forward to seeing what there is here to do in Jakarta before my next adventure but in the meantime thank you so much for watching. Watching. Take care and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.